Hey guys, welcome to the second vlog. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update just how the diet's been going. Uh, right now I'm averaging about 210.2. Remember I started the diet at about 210.8. Um, it's a little early in the diet to kind of make adjustments or really think too much into kind of the scale. Um, we have to kind of wait for multiple weeks of averages and stuff like that before we actually make any any adjustments so nothing changing the next week uh, again this is only day five one thing i wanted to update you guys on as well in the last video i did forget to mention uh, the cardio i'm doing for this prep so i'm starting off with um, a thousand calories a week uh, that's split up pretty much however i see fit or what fits my schedule for that week usually between two and four sessions what that usually ends up being is uh, what it will actually end up being is two to four sessions on the elliptical and usually i'll just watch a youtube video and stuff like that while while i'm actually doing the cardio i try to keep it away from the weight training on an off day but if schedule's tight i gotta fit it in it's done after weight training so it doesn't take away from that um, that's pretty much it for the update. I have some training footage for you guys. It's just my uh, lower body session this week. It's normally my lower body hypertrophy session. Uh, so a little bit more volume, a little higher rep range. Normally I would squat on this session, but uh, not too long ago I had some issues with my left adductor. So you'll see in this workout I actually did uh, goblet squats, just kind of get a feel for it. So thanks for watching. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Like I said, normally this would be a back squat day. I normally do about three sets of anywhere between five to eight repetitions. Last week, however, I didn't injure, but kind of tweaked my left adductor a little bit. So this week I was just playing it safe, wanted to try out some goblet squats. Um, so that first set was 70 pounds. Just slowly working my way up, did about 10 reps. Here's 85 pounds for another 10 reps. Um, and this is the first time I'm actually squatting in flat shoes too. For the last few years, I've always squatted in a heeled Olympic lifting shoe. I'm going to try actually doing my back squats that way as well, just to kind of see how it feels. Maybe just switch it up a little bit trying to determine kind of which one feels better for me. Uh, here's actually 100 pounds, and this I just did 15. I was planning on only doing 10, but when I got to 10, it felt good enough to go to 15. Um, next week, I'll actually go back to the back squat. I'm gonna stick with the flat sole shoes, see how they feel. Uh, might work up to you know high 200s, just to kind of see how it feels. Slowly work my way up. And here you'll see the hip thrust. I'm still not doing a ton of weight on these. This is only 255 pounds. I did three sets of six. These have helped my hip a ton. I would highly recommend for anyone that has trouble getting their glutes activated, definitely take advantage of that. Uh, and here we're on to just regular leg extensions. Uh, nothing fancy here, just three sets of 10, uh, 140 pounds. And here, again, nothing fancy, uh, lying leg curls, did 155 pounds for three sets of 10. And after this, I did do a little bit of ab work and seated calf raises. I didn't actually get it recorded, uh, but I did end up doing those. And that's it. Thank you for watching.